Doggy too. Oh, old doggy too. Or doggo. So yeah, guys, today we are here at Brdo pri Lukovici. And here we have a castle from 14th century. Well, what's left of the left of it? So this is the ruins of the castle from 14th century. It's out of commission. But it's still standing. <laughs> and behind we have a church. And over there they still race horses. So maybe we'll go and see the horses. And this is the history of this castle, Bird of Castle, here in Brdo pri Lukovici. I think it's closed, it's not open to the public, so we can only admire its walls from outside. Now let's go see the doors and if Big Joe can fit in. <laughs> I think it's impossible. Oh, there is a small opening down there. If I was a little kid, maybe I could get in. No? <clears throat> And those were midget, midgets in those days. They had so small doors, you know. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, oh! <laughs> Big Joe opened the door. So yeah, maybe we're not allowed to be here, but we are. So let's go inside. So, bird or castle? I hope those bricks don't fall on my head. Then you will never see this video. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely not safe to walk here. But yeah, let's take some risks. Whoa. Looking for the buried treasure. Now, where did they bury it? <laughs> so yeah, guys, you want to live in a castle and be homeless? Come to Slovenia. <laughs> Bardo <laughs> Prilukovici. I'll give you a castle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But to tell you the truth, other than this door, all you have is like walls that could fall down on you at any time. But yeah, thank you. There's a lot of moth here. Oh, I hope I don't trip. And yeah. Big Joe, king of the castle. Yay! <laughs> so, let's go out and close the door. And I thought I would have to crawl there. Under there. Oh my god. Let's close the door. How do this? Like this. There you go. So, the estate goes on there. there. I saw some dogs there and some white horses. Maybe even lipid centers. Some local chiquiquitas. And yeah, I guess they're renovating it, but yeah. As you have seen inside. Nothing special. <laughs> There's the estate with the horses and stuff. So, ah, and this was the estate yeah, here from the castle. But unfortunately, this one is closed with a lock. I can see it. But yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. There we go. So behind this, I don't know, how do you call this building like this that it's open and has a roof? There's some special French name for it. 
Ah, oh, I forgot. So behind those bushes there, there's a lake. And behind that lake, there is a pasture with the white horses. But I don't know how to get to them because this thingy is locked. My God. <laughs> So one last look at this castle from the 14th century. Well, they're guessing it's for 14th century. They don't have the exact date when it was built, but uh, it's still standing. It's still standing. And these are the views of the valley covered in fog and just a little bit of snow. And all those trees there, it's like an apple farm, so cider lovers, come here. <laughs> and this castle was the home of one of Slovenian storytellers, Janko Kresnik. But now is the home, one of the homes of Big Joe. <laughs> Sorry guys, but I sometimes tell you my version of history and how I see it, you know. We add a special twist to it, because otherwise, let's face it, history is boring, boring. And just behind the castle, the church to honor Big Joe. <laughs> I'll tell you the name when I get to it, because I think it's written there at the entrance of the church. Ooh. And this, this is where you can sneak in. Let's take a peek. Uh, no, it's closed. This is where Turks used to sneak in to the castle. Okay, so the back side. Yeah. And it's a beautiful sunny day today. You can see the two angel figurines up there on the church horning their horns for Big Joe's arrival. <laughs> okay, Mother Mary. Jesus Christ dying in her lap. Hey, that's not how the story goes. But yeah, it looks like that. Uh, so this looks like a graveyard. So uh, yeah, I think those are the people that died in the Second World War because well, it's from 1942 to 1945, as I've seen. So that was the time of the Second World War here. Uh, and yeah, there's a graveyard behind the church. And what's the name of this church? This is, this is, uh, Rupniski list. Oh my God, it doesn't say. Uh, no. Anyway, let's see if it's open. It's Sunday. I want to go to church. It's Sunday, man, and it's closed. My God. Anyway, there's my castle behind it. And, yeah, I'll take you to the graveyard. <laughs> so, yeah, the graveyard behind the church. And that thingy over there is a beekeeper's museum. Uh, so, yeah, they have some little houses there where the bees live. And they make the honey. Honey bunny. The honey bunnies are born there. And remember that story terror that lived in the castle? Well, this is the place where he's buried, just behind the castle. And his whole family, extended family, it's their kind of thingy here. Eternal resting grounds. So let me show you the Honey Bunny Museum. <laughs> so this, you see that the, that's the big building. It's where the museum is located, with rooms and I don't know, I think they have food there. And then you have those three small houses there. Those are like the beehives 
the, the, the bees live there in those little houses. So that's where the honey bunnies reside here. <laughs> but now, okay, I hope I'm not stepping on anybody's grave. Now nah, maybe let's go that way. Uh, to see, to see, to see, to see, to see the views from this graveyard. Why not? Why not? I think they're nice. The views of surrounding hills, the Honey Bunny Museum, and of the church bell tower, and Big Joe's castle just behind it. And it's time to say goodbye, Mr. Jimus. Goodbye, as Homer Simpson would say. Goodbye, Mr. Jimus. So, saying goodbye, Mr. Jimus. Uh, I think we'll end this video today. Hope you liked it. A bit unusual, yeah. I know. Uh, press like, share, write me down in the comments what you think. And from the graveyard, saying bye bye to you, folks. Maybe we should check the Honey Bunny Museum. Okay, maybe we walk up to the Honey Bunny Museums and I show you where the honey bunnies live. Okay, let's go do that one as well. And by the way, for those of you who didn't understand my joke about Homer Simpson and uh, Jimus guy, yeah, uh, it was when he was in church, you know, <laughs> at the mass, and then he asked, "Who's this Jimus guy?" Everybody keeps talking about. So yeah, that was the joke I was trying to make a reference to. Let's go to honey bunnies. There's the honey bunnies. And do not worry. If the honey bunnies decides that you are a threat and start attacking you, do not worry. We have a bump shelter here. So you can ride, run, and hide inside of this bump shelter. Yeah. There's the Churchito. and the castle. Is it midday already? Not yet. 15 minutes left. Until the bells will start ringing. So, just behind the bomb shelter we have this churchy thingy here again. Saint Ambrose. Oh, he's the beekeeper saint, I guess, because there's like a beehive down there. Ambrosh in Slovenia. See, 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 see. Saint Ambrose, der helige Ambrosius. I got you. So. <sighs> he has his name day on 7 December. There, I taught you something. Uh, and he lived from 340 to 397. Okay, he's as an infant. He a swarm of bees landed on his child's face. He was sleeping in his cradle. Okay, so ever since then, this guy is the patron. See, this guy is the patron of all bees, I guess, from very, very long time ago. So, yeah. The Slovenish, <laughs> the contemporary Slovenian beekeeping. Okay, so there we go. And there is our honey bunny. If you don't know what this animal is, there you go. That's the honey bunny. <laughs> and nice views with the airplanes waving its web above our heads. Yeah, let's go see their homes now. Uh, I forgot to say, this is Mary, already in the sky, it says. And up there, the Freemason symbols. Do 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 Dramatic music playing. <laughs> so I said, the official name of this is the Slovenian Beekeeping Center, yeah? So, in the 1960s, it became... Uh, it started the construction 
and until 2002. So they needed 40 years to to make this bee beehive, the big beehive for humans there <laughs> work, you know, <laughs> to build it and make it operational. Oh, yeah. So some important beekeepers here. And our domestic honey bunny, the Carniola, Carniolian grey bee, so yeah, which is actually quite famous in the world. But let's see if we can see any live honey bunnies here. The life of bees. <laughs> okay. So, that's the Slovenian beekeeper's thingy. This is the wild honeys without a house. But, we domesticated them. So, the insects can be domesticated. <laughs> and I see them buzzing around. So, let's go take a look at their home and hope they don't attack me, otherwise I will really have to run into that bomb shelter over there. Okay. Okay. There, you can see them buzzing. I don't know if you can see them, but yeah. So the beekeepers here also, they made like art because the bees remember which is their home. So if they make like a painting or even different colors, uh, yeah, they know to which hive they have to go. No, a lot of buzzing if I stop talking. Okay, big job better rounds, you know. I don't know how well they domesticated them, so. <laughs> okay, guys, so I think with this, we really finished the video now. So thank you if you stuck with me until the end. And let's say bye-bye to the bees. I don't know who was it. Was it Albert Einstein that said when the bees die in this world, the humans well, will no longer be able to survive, yeah? Well, let's see. Let's wait and see. Take care, guys. Midday, the bells saying goodbye. And since we are in Slovenia, Big Joe ch saying cheers. <laughs> After Chernobyl disaster, this mammoth bee became alive in Slovenia. This is my hand, so see, that's honey, one kilo of honey. <laughs> okay, guys, take care. So, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Be sure to leave your comment down below. Check out my video up there in the corner on the next one, guys.